Hi, I'm Ginger Rem at Brooker Creek Preserve, and we're welcoming McMullen Booth Elementary fourth grade students for their environmental education field trip. How are you today? Welcome. Ready for fun day? Now, something interesting here about the preserve. It is an 8,000 acre preserve. So that's like 8,000 football fields all together. I know. So this is a big, beautiful place, a natural wild habitat. And so as we walk and hike, we're going to share all the things that we see as we go. Now, when we're walking and hiking, we're going to see a lot of holes and openings in the ground where the armadillos have dug. And what they're doing is they're looking for food. Well, over here we have our little pond and in our pond we have tadpoles and minnows all year round. We do have snakes, leopard frogs and turtles occasionally. Good now, job. So you're already observing the tadpoles. You can see them moving in the water and the little minnows. So what you see out here, this is our Brooker Creek that runs through the preserve. It is all fresh water. I know somebody was asking about dolphins. We don't have those out here. Um, it does run into Lake Tarpon. Yes. You have to be quiet or it's going to leave. So this is a turtle. It does live in the water. Tortoises live on land. And then there's a spot where all those big branches come together, where there's a lot of green, there's a lot of Spanish moss. That is a red shoulder hawk nest. Sword fern has leaves that look like swords. They're long, they're skinny, still part of the fern family. These do have spores on the backs of the leaves. There is a gopher tortoise over here. Now, okay. friends, you cannot get into the grasses because we don't want to scare it, okay? But I'm going to point to it. It's over here. If you look right through here, you can see the gopher tortoise. It's sitting there in the opening of its burrow. Now, gopher tortoises, remember, are a keystone species. So they're the key to survival to many other animals. We are going to see the snake. So I am going to bring Marilyn, my red rat snake, out. Uh, you'll see that she sticks out her tongue. That's how she smells. So she, um, she is about 11 years old. And so what she's doing when she sticks out her tongue again, she's just smelling, she's sniffing the air. I know everybody always wants to see how long she is. She's about four and a half feet long. She's very sweet, very smooth. They're not slimy. I know a lot of people think they're slimy. But she is used to students petting her and, and visiting her. You know, she's very sweet. Nice and soft and smooth, right? Now she's excited it's warm now too because remember they're cold blooded so they like the heat. Yeah, so she... All right, we're going to go and scoop some critters out of the little pond and do some dip netting. Okay, so basically with dip netting, we're scooping in the water. We're going to pick up some leaves. You're going to go through the leaves with your hands and try and find some little critters. Okay. If we do find critters, we're going to put them in the tub okay. and they're going to hide. So you want to scoop up some leaves. So remember in our little pond, we have tadpoles, we have minnows, we have crawfish. So scooping in those leaves allows you to get down there and get those scooped up. Just don't bring them over their heads. Good job. There you go. Pull that up, Jose. Get a nice big scoop of leaves. We've been catching crawfish every day too. Go ahead and grab the tadpole in your hand. That's Just roll it in. Yep. I, f I got a tadpole. Good job. Let me hold your net. And you saw what he did. He scooped in those leaves, right? So you got to scoop those leaves. There it's a go. big one. Good job. Go, yeah, put it in the water. Okay, put it in the water. All right, once they're in the tub, we don't pet them, okay? I, I think like that too. I don't know. Well, you guys did a great job. Another big scoop. Isn't it amazing all the cool stuff we find out here? Yeah, it's neat to come and explore out in nature.